Hey everyone, I'm Sam. Today we're gonna look at what fits a Tesla Model S. These cars are becoming more and more popular. We got some jumping in our gallery. And I'll be honest, I've driven one. These cars are fast as Like, I don't know if you care about electric cars versus gasoline cars or whatever. These cars are seriously fast. They're fun, like, they're cool. Uh, I think they look really cool, especially if you lower them, put them on some cool wheels. But if you're gonna do that, you gotta know what fits. So that's why we're here. So the first car we're gonna look at today is a 2016 Tesla Model S. This one's baby blue maybe just regular blue i don't know it's really cool looking though it's got some lime green uh brake calipers but this one is rocking some pretty baller wheels so it's the most conservative setup that we're gonna look at today but we're rocking volts here right off the bat volk te37s so in the front you got 19 by 9 and a half plus 21 and the rear we're staggered you'll kind of see that today 19 by 10 and a half plus 22s and we're still balling with tires on this car here we got michelin pilot sport 4s so these are gripped up on um, this 245 35s in the front and 275 30s in the rear. And this thing's dumped on airlift performance air suspension. So really cool car. The fitment, like I said, is some of the most conservative we have. The front, when you look at it and kind of click through the pictures here, Colin's probably showing you on the page here. When it's aired out, the camber arc in these cars is a little bit interesting and the front does kind of sink in. So when you're aired out, you could get away with a little bit more of an aggressive offset. So you could probably do something like a plus 15, that 19 by nine and a half on there. But as it stands, it looks really good. We don't have any pictures of it aired up, but this is a very functional setup. There are no rubbing, no spacers, nothing crazy like that. Overall, good looking setup. You can't go wrong with TEs, not gonna lie. But the second car we're looking at, it's a 2017 Tesla Model S. This one, a little bigger wheels. So we got some Rohanas. We got 20 by 10 plus 25s up front and 20 by 11 plus 28s in the rear. As far as tires go, we got some Nankings, 255 35s up front and 285 30s in the rear. But this car's on stock suspension. So we went a larger diameter wheel and a little less aggressive offset, but it is wider. So it actually almost counteracts each other perfectly, but we're on stock suspension. I'll be honest, these cars can swallow up 20s really easy. Even on OEM stock suspension, really good. Uh, with that stock suspension, there's no rubbing, no scraping, there's no fender modifications, no trimming, and there aren't any wheel spacers either. So really clean build here. The 20s, I think are the way to go. But to confirm that, you saw the 19s, you just saw the 20s. Should we go bigger with wheels? Because I'm going to. So we're going 22s, baby. So this is getting pretty big up in here. So this is the last car we're gonna look at, is Tesla Model S, of course, and we are on some Vossens. Uh, Voss the VPS 314s. In the front, they're 22 by nine plus 25. In the rear, 22 by 10 and a half plus 38. So less of aggressive rear fitment here. Uh, the front is kind of similar to what we saw before, and we're still rocking some Michelin Pilot Sport 4S like in that first car. 255 30s up front and 295 30s in the back. This is also on stock suspension, no rubbing, no scrubbing, and there aren't any spacers here. So 22s, they fit. You could go a little lower, it looks like, with this car. So if you wanted to throw down some air and lower that ride head a little bit, you absolutely could. The owner put a good picture here in the gallery of what that ride head looks like. A little bit on the truck side, I'm not gonna lie. It's not bad, but we're getting into some custom offsets territory here, so just be a little careful. But the car does swallow up the 22s really well. It's really crazy to think that a car on stock suspension can take 22s, but it absolutely can. As far as how aggressive these are, it's about as aggressive as I want to get with the offset with this size of wheel, especially if you're going to lower it a little bit. In the front, you probably want to lower it maybe a quarter inch. In the rear, you could probably drop it about a half inch or so. Small thing. The owner says, from the owner, drive the snot out of this car. So how much snot is in a Tesla that he's driving or she is driving? I don't know, but they're driving the snot out of it. So what are we looking at today? We're looking at Model S's and what fits. My opinion, I'm a big fan of the 20 by 10s up front and the 20 by 11s in the rear. I think they look really good. As far as the offset goes, I'd probably do a plus 20 up front, plus 25 maybe, like we saw in the second car. And in the rear, that 20 by 11 plus 28 does look really good. You can fit some meaty tires under there. So you're looking at 285s, you'll probably go up to a 305 if you want to get real crazy with it. If you had a plaid or something like that, you want to get that power down, um, you can go with a little bit wider as far as the tire goes. But overall, I think 20s, it's the way to go. The 19s look a little small in this car. They do look dope, the TEs are cool, but the 20s, 100% the way to go. So now you kinda know what fits, Tesla Model S. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Or check out FitmentIndustries.com for our gallery to see what other Tesla Model S's are in there, or shop for some wheels, tires, or suspension. We got it all. Thanks guys, I'm Sam. Peace.